Good evening and welcome to Taztastic Tuesday. Sorry I'm bringing it to you a little bit later this evening, but better late than never. Let's dive right in it. We all know that, once again, after Kanye West has been let down by the white community that he goes to for validation, he and Candace Owens are now coming well, trying to come back to the black community and say, you know, row against me, row with me. Don't let me go broke. Don't let me. No. And this time around, black people, black people. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking specifically to you. Let Candace and Kanye and the rest of them sit where they may. It's time for us to stop going back and uplifting those that keep their feet on our necks and on our backs. They will use us to climb the ladder, speak down on us as a community, denigrate us, and perpetuate harmful and destructive racial tropes and stereotypes for the white gays, for white validation. Because they think that their adjacency to white people who do nothing but monetize them and tokenize them will get them a seat at the proverbial table and that they will prosper. But every time they need to prosper, they come back to us. They come back to us to be rebuilt. They come back to us so that we can financially sustain them. We must stop. We have the ability to actually cancel whomever wrongs us, but we don't. We sit back and wait for another community to do so. Because Kanye has been far more egregious to the black community than the Jewish community. It took him a few anti-Semitic comments for the Jewish community to say, "Mm -mm, nope, we are clipping your wings. And trust me, I am happy that they did. But it is time for us to stop half-assing activism and advocacy. Stop spending your money in spaces and places that don't want you there. Stop spending your money and your emotional labor on people that don't want you around them. We tell each other when it comes to relationships to pick better, choose better, be better, be around better. But... When it comes to society, we keep trying to be the round peg, trying to squeeze ourselves into the triangular slot. Why? Because their skin is adjacent to ours? Because they're kissed by the sun like we are? We can't keep saying our skin folk ain't kin folk if we don't live by that. You tired of people making a name for themselves and monetizing our community, our culture, our heritage, then stop backing them. Stop inviting everybody to the cookout. Stop reinviting people to the cookout. Stop bringing people back to the family reunion when we have exiled them. You want better examples of black men, women, and non-binary individuals? Then support better black men and women and non-binary individuals. If you find somebody speaking the truth, share that truth with others. If you see somebody making a difference in the community, share that information so they can get the backing. They can create a foundation so that we all can rise up together. But no, Mm -mm. you'd rather defend any and every black person just to say you're not pro-white. Well, how's that working out for you? But as I always say, what do I know? And until next week.